Hello everyone. Even though we are super busy, we did get our office set up. We are uh, increasing production, ordering more equipment as, you know, supply chains open up or, you know, we, we order in advance enough to get the products that we need to continue the business. Uh, our fulfillment will become quicker, uh, but we've done all those steps, taken the actions we need to do everything we can, and um, we are expanding. We will be carrying uh, Ford Maverick parts too. Still working on the Ford Bronco, of course. It You guys buy the most things for this vehicle, hands down. Trying out a um, glow outline on these carbonized gray Bronco grill letters. I'm going to cycle that through uh, the sun and then into the dark and the night, drive around the city and see how those look at night. Because um, that would be the main feature uh, for uh, you guys wanting to uh, get these over like a normal one. Um, but anyways, today we are going to do the installation of the printed series front oval for the, uh, this is a 2022 uh, Ford Maverick. Um, this was the test print. It does not not have uh, over laminate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that guy off. Let's see here. Let's pick in the side. It is 70 degrees right now here in Fort Myers. I will be grabbing the extension cord and we'll probably use heat on the, the front to get that insulation uh, to stick really well. But that's what you have normally. Of course, we will be doing the rear. There's some stuff back there, including another oval. Uh, but I don't know if you guys want to have the same theme, front and rear. Uh, you might go for a, a different blend of things. So we're going to sell front ovals separate from rear ovals. It's also easier for me to print them that way and gives you guys tons of options. But let me go grab the vinyl. We'll grab the stand. We'll grab a microfiber, uh, some uh, detail spray, and some soapy water, and we'll be right back here. All right, everyone, if this is the first video you've seen from me, you will start to see the same reoccurring uh, themes over and over again, things that I repeat, things that you should uh, take to heart. Uh, once again, it is 70 degrees. I like to install these vinyls between 70 to 80 degrees. The vinyl reacts to heat and sticks really well at this temperature. If you are in a cold, super frigid environment and your twig and berries are shriveling up because it's so darn cold, you might have a little harder time installing this. The vinyl will react differently and adhesive really just doesn't work that well at those temperatures. I mean, anything you buy. I've bought phone mounts and been like, oh, look, it's 40 degrees. Let's go mount this. And they install with 3M double-sided tape and they don't seem to stick at all. And once you compress the adhesive, uh, it won't really work that well even when it does get warm. So take that into account. Um, you want to do this in a heated garage at a minimum. Get that temperature up there. Make sure everything is warm. Try to get everything up between 70 to 80 degrees. And then once you install it, don't run out into the 20 degree weather and expect it to be fine. Don't go to a car wash and have a high pressure wash hit that very brittle vinyl. Uh, it will probably tear it in half. So I have a microfiber. I have detail spray. It doesn't have any wax on it because I'm just trying to clean this. I'm not trying to put a layer of wax in between that and the vinyl's adhesive. I have a bottle from our store. Uh, you could get a bowl of water too. But initially I fill this all the way up with water and then a few drops of dish soap. If you don't have dish soap, you can use a little hand soap. You're just trying to break down that initial uh, contact on the back of this. Um, it allows you to slide it around one and two, it gives the air uh, a pocket to go out with and it usually escapes with the soapy water. That's the, uh, the goal. And because it's kind of right on that fringe, it's 70 degrees. I do have a heat gun out here. Uh, it'll help dry up that soapy water, get the adhesive really sticky again uh, by using heat. If it was really hot, I would definitely not park this uh, in the sun. Even if ambience between 70 to 80 degrees, everything will heat up uh, faster than you probably uh, expected. Um, it's easier to do it in a warm environment, in the shade, but then add heat with the heat gun or hair dryer. Um, then you get to control how much heat you add. Um, one of the things is when, once you do use heat, um, don't use so much heat that would burn your hand. That's kind of my 
my go-to uh, method of determining how much heat is too much heat. Uh, if it's gonna burn your hands, it's probably gonna stretch out the vinyl too much. We're not professional vinyl installers, we're just little do-it-yourselfers doing small stickers. So um, if you can use tons of heat, you should probably just be a vinyl installer or something. Um, so I've cleaned that off with the microfiber. Uh, there was some residual residue from yesterday. I could get all that off, but uh, for the sake of time, uh, well, oh, there, it is. there it is, it's all off. Um, you'll notice my videos run a little bit long, but I've had people criticize when I, when I jump through things. Um, also, you get to see me install this basically, um, basically with no edits at all. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I've gone through to get this uh, right. This first printed series version, this is Area 51, by the way, um, I am going to just do the blue portion and leave that chrome ring around the outside. Now, we'll probably try to cover the whole thing up uh, if customers ask for that, but I think this looks pretty classy. Uh, just a little change from OEM. Uh, we're just going to try to line it up the best we can. Now, if you have too much soapy water, this thing, <laughs> it'll be hard to get it to stick at all. I uh, well, this mixture probably could use a little bit more soap because I can't slide it around too much. But we'll just move it around a little bit. We want to make sure that we're getting uh, full coverage end to end on the blue at least. And see, I'm just kind of, I took the top. We got all the water out of there. I'll run my hand through the bottom and then kind of just hit this at an angle and hopefully it doesn't crimp any of that material. Uh, so we got the front or the top laid down pretty well. Now the bottom, because of the curvature, it just doesn't want to lay down on its own. So that's where we get light amount of heat. Uh, I'm gonna start this on low. Uh, of course, you could use a hair dryer. You could probably use a hair dryer on high. Apply a little heat and then see how it reacts. Notice how I'm just not holding it directly onto the vinyl. I'm just giving it a little blast here and there, trying to figure out how much is enough. You wanna spread out um, the work that you're doing to get it down because you don't want to work in an area. So one area, like what, let's say we work on this area and then we take all the extra material and push it down here. Now we're having way too much material to work with over there. We want to just kind of stretch out little parts of it at a time. This does have an over laminate to protect it, provide more durability, allow it to work better uh, going through car washes and probably take some dings. Now this part, if, you're, if your water's really soapy, it's gonna take a while to uh, kind of dry that out. So just be patient, apply that heat, spread it out evenly. So you can do the slide finger technique and then you can you can also do the where you just push down. I try to combine both, see what works better. Start out with sliding it and then just push it. Remember a lot of the water will just bunch up towards the bottom naturally. That's how gravity works. You're welcome for that little lesson. So make sure all that water is out of the bottom side. It did rain yesterday night. So there's kind of water in this little seam and that's coming out too.
There we go. So for you guys up north, I'll probably start talking about uh, heat cycling a little bit more. I, I just like to call it heat cycling. Um, when you come out to your vehicle the next few times, check it. Push down around the edges, make sure everything is nice and snug. Uh, parking it in the sun helps it heat cycle too. If you are in a very cold environment, you know, keep that heat gun around. Give it some time, come back, make sure everything's down, apply a little heat. We're just trying to make sure that bond can be as strong as possible. And once it's really strong, you can go through power car washes, um, car washes with brushes, all sorts of stuff, but you have to get that bond down. And adhesive takes time to really get the strongest bond possible. Um, you're looking at 24 to 48 hours for that bond to really, really um, work and develop. So let's take that camera off of the mount and see the kind of the final product here. You will get two of these ovals. I don't expect you to be some installation god, uh, that's fine. That's also why we're breaking it up into front and rears. It's easier for us to print a bunch of fronts, uh, give you guys a couple sets of those, and then if you choose a rear, let you choose a different color, and you'll also get a couple uh, sets of those. So that's what we, we've done to our Area 51 uh, Maverick. This is the first modification that we've done to this vehicle. We have a couple more uh, in the works, a uh, couple existing products that will just roll over from the, the other vehicles as well. So if you're new and a Maverick owner, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are working on for the 2022 and hopefully up Ford Maverick.